What's going on guys, it's your boy Ush, and we're back again once again with another Dragon Ball Super Reaction. This is chapter 71, The Heater's Plan. So I've heard some good things, I've heard um, some other mixed things about this chapter. So obviously we're going to get right into it and give you guys my thoughts and my live reaction to this chapter. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Hmm, okay, so tell me, what is the decisive dis difference between us angels and you, Goku? Well, I mean... I, I hope he's honest. Uh, I don't have a halo thingy. Ah. Oh, boy. Goku is uh, a klutz. That's the difference. Ow. It's that we are always in the ultra instinct state. I see. I lit. You know. I'm, didn't I say this? I'm pretty sure I said this. I, I, I definitely said this at some point. It's that we're always in ultra instinct. Okay, while you, on the other hand, yeah, I know. I gotta transform first to use ultra instinct. My body doesn't just dodge stuff on its own, right? Not exactly. It's that you're equating ultra instinct to a transformation. Boom. When your heart is calm, your body should move on its own no matter what form you're in. That's actually true. Ooh, so now he's just doing twirls and stuff. He's, he's looking all fancy schmancy, Mr. Weiss. Wow. So you're saying I got to figure out how to use Ultra Instinct in my normal form? Yes. Doing that will free you of the stamina drain that is creating a time limit. Gotcha. It does tend to cause a lot of trouble for me. Yeah. As for the full transformation that accompanies Ultra Instinct, let's see that aside. Let's set that aside as a last resort for when a battle demands that you surpass your limits. Hmm, this is probably going to take a while. About that. Time may not be on our side, huh? What's that? This concerns you too, Vegeta. My man out here, boulder on one finger. Shout out to Vegeta. What is it? While training, your rivals should be yourselves from the previous day. Uh, work hard to grow stronger than your past selves. Mm, I like that. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. To get stronger every day. We train daily, so naturally we grow stronger. Is this meant to be a nugget of wisdom? I say this just in case. Not long ago, something odd happened in this universe. Oh? You see, I noticed Beerus is listening, of course. Does it have something to do with us? Hang on, is a really strong enemy about to show up? An enemy? I'm not sure. Plan cereal. Are you not going back? to the old man's place i can't return until freeze is defeated i'll wait here for word from elik but will he be okay on his own it's fine i don't know man they're probably gonna use him as a target the heaters are probably just gonna go after him they're gonna use him this is how it always goes they're gonna use him as some leverage and they're gonna use mans against him like that okay i can keep an eye on him from here i see your right eye is even stronger now Oil, Maki, before jetting off to Earth, pay Zuno a visit to get some intel. We just gotta ask where the Saiyans are, right? Yes, that's important too, but you need to find out a few other things. Yeah, we've got the other questions jotted down. Do you mind if we ask him what shop sells the tastiest grunbulls in the universe? Go nuts. Ask whatever you want, as long as you follow the plan. Sweet. Okay, how will we get the Saiyans where we want them? A great question for Zuno. Everyone has a weakness. Whatever theirs is, we probably have the capital to exploit it. Is all this really necessary just to deal with Granola? He's supposedly the mightiest warrior now, right? So yes, just in case. What's wrong, Gas? I wish you had let me fight him as well. I've got no doubts about how strong you are. You might have even won that fight, but I'd hate to think about the worst case scenario. Your moment to fight has yet to come. Listen, you're the only member of this family who can surpass Frieza himself. Okay, so my man Gas. See, Gas, he kind of gives me Kid Boo vibes. I don't know if you guys are feeling that as well, but he definitely gives me some Kid Boo, Kid Boo vibes. Just kind of like with his size and just the way his like his uh his eyebrows and all that genre set up. Like I I can kind of see it a little bit, even though he's got a whole different hair. My man got dreadlocks. So, I, I'm, now that he says that he's, he, he could be uh, stronger than Frieza, I would love to see Gas fight now. And I am definitely more interested in these heaters. Just relax. The wind's blowing our way now. 
If everything goes nice and smooth when the dust settles, the supreme force in the universe will be the heaters. A few weeks later, Lord Zuno's planet. Why should I have to kiss you? No question may be asked without the offering. Come on, Maki. Elik will be mad if we don't get answers. Then you kiss him, Oil. Lord Zuno will not accept the kiss from a portly man. Ah, oh, fine. You better come through for us. <laughs> Feisty women are my type. I shall answer ten of your questions. Oh, damn. Ten questions. You got it. Okay. You hear that, Maki? Those tasty grumbles will be ours. What a load of crap. Psh, give me Elix notes, Oil. Get with the times, creep. Ever heard of harassment? Damn, this is a very uh, appropriate chapter for today's modern day, <laughs> wouldn't you say? Meanwhile, all right, so now Goku's training. He's he's trying to be within himself. He's dodging all the jumps, the twirls. He's doing the flippy floppies, and he stopped it with a finger. He's doing it all with his eyes closed. My man is seemingly in his ultra instinct state without being in it, which is the whole point, which is kind of what they were have been alluding to. Well, that's kind of how they should have... Well, I don't know. It's really hard to do that, I guess. But it's Dragon Ball. They're always going to have to have some kind of new form. Or new type of explanation to explain said form as we go along. So they're, 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 they're writing to write, if that makes sense. Nice. Goku and Vegeta's training continues. So Vegeta's out here just destroying tree logs off a waterfall. Okay. I mean... I, in comparison to, oh, that's a big tree. Okay. <laughs> in comparison to what Goku's doing though, it really doesn't feel like Vegeta's doing that much as far as being like impressive, I guess, because Goku's like trying to tap into a form. Well, he's, he's trying not to treat it as another power up, but at the end of the day, he's, he's, he's trying to attain a level of power that he doesn't normally have or naturally have but now he's trying to attain it naturally which is kind of weird because it's very convoluted and yet vegeta's over here just destroying logs so there you have it this is the training that we're in right now and so time passed having asked zuno for goku and vegeta's weaknesses and uh, weaknesses oil and maki finally arrived on earth oh so they're going after the wives Makes sense. Okay, who are you folks exactly? Pals of my Goku? We've never actually met your husband, but we have a request for him. Well, I'll have you know that he hasn't been home for months. <laughs> and this is just normal for Chi Chi. I feel so bad for this lady. Might we ask you to summon him here for us? We've heard that Goku isn't one to defy your commands. I was hoping he'd show his face around here again soon. The cash we got from Hercules running uh, the cash we got from Hercules running dry, so my Goku's gotta find some work soon. Money troubles, is it? We've got the perfect job for your husband. Beerus' planet. Oh, Bulma's calling. Are Vegeta and Goku there? We've got some guests asking for them. Guess who are they? This is the most Dragon Ball scenario you could possibly uh, like imagine, right? Uh, a pair of aliens by the looks of them. Apparently there's some villain that a villain they want you to be. A villain? Capsule Corp. Listen up, Goku. They're gonna pay you to beat this guy. Training's one thing, but it doesn't put a roof over our heads. You need to bring home the bacon now and then. Yikes, you're there too, Chi Chi? Yeah, sure thing. I'm on my way home. Tell us more about this new enemy. They say he just popped up and he's the strongest in the universe. Hard to believe that. That title wouldn't go to one of you two, though. Mm-hmm. The strongest in the universe? You think this guy is the one the Oracle Fish were talking about? That may be the case. It should be Broly. Just saying. Just saying. Well, shall I send them away? No. And I intend to fight. None may claim the title of the universe's strongest without my say. No need for you to come. No way, I'm going too. Strongest in the universe? That gets me hyped up. That that the Yaku Akasuta. You know Goku says that. You know, you know he's saying that right now in Japanese. They'll do it. It'll be half an hour until they're back, so do you mind waiting around? Of course not. Thank you. This will save the lives of so many poor helpless people. I'm beside myself with relief. May we borrow your restroom? It's down the hall and to the right. 
Okay. That went great, Maki. Am I the only actor in this family? You pitch in too. Anyway, next up is... Uh, okay, back to the Wii's. Okay, an express ride to Earth, is it? Yes, please. Woohoo, it's been way too long since a real battle. And after all this training, there's no way I'll lose to anyone. You'll all see how my training paid off. Psh, this is beers. Hey, Vegeta. Take this. Oh? What's this? Stick it on your ear. It's a symbol of those who can use destruction. That's I, okay. That's actually kind of fire. I'm not gonna lie. Vegeta is that much closer to being a god of destruction. Now he's got the freaking earring, son. That's that's actually OD. Now get out there and prove that the gods of destruction signature move is stronger than Angel's techniques. Very well. Then I'll bring back this mark as well. And now Goku got the Whis symbol on him. What the heck, Whis? You throwing down the gauntlet? I believe you threw it first, Lord Beerus. Calm down, Lord Beerus. I have no intention of losing to Kakarot. Yo, it looks so sick on him, not gonna lie. You're gonna eat those words. Your mutually beneficial rivalry is all well and good, but excess confidence may be your doom. Huh? Is this guy that nasty? <laughs> I cannot speak to his nastiness because he only just appeared. I cannot intervene in affairs of the mortal realm, but I will leave you with that warning. Now, shall we be off? Yeah, after, you know, after what happened with Mirius, bro, I have to say, I feel like they're in a very tight position to not really ever get involved. Because if you think about it, the last, I don't know, bunch of times that have been occurring uh, within Earth or within, you know, involving Universe 7, they have d been directly involved in some way, shape, or form. Whether you like to believe it or not or you want to like give them a pass or, or some kind of excuse i'm telling you they have straight up been breaking the rules and getting away with it so i'm glad that uh they're sticking their noses out of it at least for now right finally peace and quiet time for some decent sleep here goes the oracle fish uh oh there they go not that i care Okay, here we go. Yes, here it is. The dragon radar. Oh, so they were... They tried to go around and find the dragon. Okay. Zuno's intel hasn't steered us wrong yet. Huh? Nothing's showing up. Could it be busted? Maybe it says Zuno said. How about Earth's dragon balls turn to stone for a whole year after someone uses them? I bet that's what happened. I don't remember that being a rule, but okay. Right, but he also told us that cereal's balls don't turn to stone. Exactly, so as soon as we find them, they're ours to use. Hey, you too. Uh, yes, ma'am. How can we be of service? The pay for this job better not be that fancy space money of yours. That stuff's useless here on Earth. Well, would you expect payment in sky gold then? I believe that was value even on your planet. Gold? That'll do nicely. In that case, we're prepared to pay you pay you your weight in sky gold ma'am you mean it i better start fattening myself up damn <laughs> 30 minutes later all right they're there they're here all right there they go you must be goku vegeta yup you're the ones having trouble with some bad guy yes and we're hoping you two can eliminate our problem well where is he where's the pest claiming to be the strongest in the universe on a planet some distant away but we can bring you there on our ship. Sounds good. Don't push yourself, Goku. If things look hairy, you should turn tail. Aw, I'll be fine. It's not like Earth is in danger this time around. You be careful too, Vegeta. I know. Well, shall we get going? This dastardly gran The dastardly granola waits on Planet Serial. Okay, so they're going to Planet Serial directly. Okay, interesting. A swimming pool in a spaceship? Nifty. The ship's facilities are yours to enjoy. Nice. How long until we reach this planet? It'll take 18 days. Damn, that's far. Just like Goku said, yeesh, that's far. What's the food situation like? Our gourmet chef can cook up anything you like. Just you name it. That's great. I thought we'd be stuck eating flavorless space food again. If there's anything else you need, please don't hesitate to ask. You certainly have a luxurious ship for a tribe whose planet is being ravaged by some great destroyer. That's because you two are, the, are our saviors. It's only natural that we prepare a special ship just for you two. 
I'm grateful. I can continue training then. So about that food, let's start with that. I'm starving. Yep. Very Goku-esque. Of course, he's eating some pork chops. Damn. Another helping. Yes, sir. Yes. My man Vegeta out here training under the freaking water, as he should be. Planet cereal. Ooh, granola. It's Maki. Sorry for the wait, granola. Good. I was running out of patience. Well, do you have it? Freeze's location? Yup, we finally found him. Really? Where? I'm ready to ship out. The thing is, our scouting squad screwed up on this one. They let they let it slip that you're gunning for Frieza's head. What? Word is, two of Frieza's assassins are making for cereal right now. Members of Frieza's army are coming for me? We think so. Sorry about that. No. This is this is works in my favor, actually. The perfect chance for me to strike back and beat Frieza's location out of them directly. So this is all a setup, obviously, but wow, they're really see what I'm gonna, what I'm trying to say is I really I really feel like this plan is gonna fall through for them. Like it's gonna it's not gonna work out is what I'm trying to say because at some point Granola is gonna say something that's gonna enable a conversation and they're gonna ex uncover the truth themselves and they're both gonna realize that you're actually not bad saiyans haven't really been bad for a very very long time saiyans also haven't really been a part of frieza's army unless you want to count broly for that very 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 short amount of time but yeah they're gonna both realize like okay well frieza's still out there why don't we just fight them together and yada da and who knows granola might actually end up actually like dying at the end of this because of you know the wish that he made unless they do some kind of like wish for him to prevent that from happening i don't know we'll see what happens ah uh, one more thing you should know yes these two goons are apparently members of that extinct saiyan tribe what guess there were a few survivors huh there are saiyans who are still alive the tribe that drove the cerulean's to extinction what's that they say uh what's that's what they say anyway but you got this buddy we'll be in touch click just as planned and that last bit got his attention just like we thought Ooh, granola's waiting saiyans are coming to my planet once again it's 50 it's 50 years overdue but revenge will finally be mine Wow, so, okay, so can we deduct that it's been 50 years on the dot since the Saiyans went and uh, up and destroyed his planet like that? That's kind of OD. So my initial thoughts, um, and I guess my overall review of the chapter was, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, it wasn't, like, too crazy. I will definitely say that. Um, but I do like, again, each chapter does deliver on little things kind of being added to the overall lore of the story that we can enjoy i really do like the little attention to detail um in, in the slightest of things that we would never really pay mind to like for example like the, the earring that all the gods of destruction have you figure that's just a part of their look but apparently that does mean something and it, it is symbolic in that those that have that earring or wear that earring know how to use the destruction technique which is pretty freaking cool to say the least and i also like how this whole plan that the heaters are you know plotting they're really trying to just turn goku and vegeta on granola in hopes that they'll most likely defeat granola for them so that they don't have to worry about him later on and i'm sure that at some point we will get to see gas fight because they're kind of now sowing the seeds for um the fated fight between gas and whomever it could be granola it could be goku and vegeta who knows and i really do think that their boss is actually going to end up being like the true villain of this whole situation until frieza gets here so that's definitely inevitable i'm gonna keep saying it until it freaking happens frieza is showing up in this arc there's no way he's not i don't think i've ever heard any arc previous to this one where they have name dropped a person so much so and that they didn't just make an appearance or get involved in some way 
I don't think so. I think Frieza definitely is going to show up at some point, like I'm saying. So yeah, the chapter was pretty good. I am looking forward to the next one. It's going to hit May 20th, so mark your calendars. Make sure you guys are subscribed and have the bell alert on. And if you still are subbed and you're probably not getting the alerts, please do me a favor and just re-up your subscription by unsubbing and resubbing and then hitting the alert. So it'll kind of give YouTube that refresh. And please, 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 most importantly, make sure you guys are liking the video so that way we go along friendly with youtube's algorithm because you already know how that goes make sure you guys taking care of yourselves made the proper tech keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside full podcast is coming back very soon and i'll see you guys next time